Hi guys, welcome back to more Daryl Dixon Walking Dead. We are on episode three. The last episode I felt was like a, a completely self-contained on the way there. This happened. Kind of storyline. <laughs> um it was thoroughly enjoyable though. Um and we found out a few more details about our nun, who was very much completely the opposite to that in the old world. Um, a few flashbacks of it. And we are continuing to head north. So let's go. Episode three. Attack the horse. I guess with this show, we are going to continue with the artillery that we have. All this old school weaponry. It, it, it's different. You sure this is the place? The contact here is a musician. He's been living in this theater for years. I speak. Sky blue. Cross green. <laughs> okay. Where is Brian? He's in the kitchen. You hear any? Of course. When I went to the radio, could call to there. He fired up. Do you like a show? Do you like Ravel? You are out for this. What is he talking about? Come on, come on. Yeah, come on. This guy's a little bit eccentrically hey, on, weird. <laughs> oh no, he's lost it. <laughs> Listen to the words of me. <laughs> well, those guys are going watch out. Yeah, we can see. I, I just don't even know what to say. I mean, it, it put a smile on my face, but... I mean, it's worth a try. if the guy's been here this long on his own... Stupid detour. You have made a detour here, and shit's about to go down outside, too. What a waste of time. He's dragging another one with it. Oh, he's chained to it. Okay. Too dangerous. Too dangerous everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it won't. You did it your way. Now we're gonna do it mine. Okay then. <laughs> Damn. Look at that. Welcome home. Really? In French? When it's strange. High school, Laurent, was in the Marais. It's a movement that started after the outbreak. Really? Most of the city is under the control of Genet and our guerrier. It's about a wary woodsman who wants to die. But when death comes, he has a change of heart. That is about fortitude. Jim Morrison. Who's that? He's an American rock star. Really? He's in a band called The Doors. He died in Paris. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Cool. Tom! Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? La vérité est espoir. C'est Père Jean qui nous envoie. I don't know that actor from. Il nous a aidé à venir jusqu'ici. Il parle pas français, juste anglais. My name is Falou. There is Emile. Conveniently, everyone in this seems to know how to speak French and English. <laughs> But you got a radio here, right? You hear that? It's Paris crying. Okay. We seem to be dealing with a lot of very eccentric people here. <laughs> it's Paris crying. We welcomed our 64th member a few months ago. I got well set up here. Was born. Two and one half million. That's how many rivers Christophe used to build them. You are full of all sorts of info. The military helicopter crashed into it at the beginning. Oh, okay. When the winds blow, the motor grow. Really? It must be magical <sighs> to stand on the red. I hadn't noticed and look that. look up at the sky. Pigeons, really? This isn't going to be of much oh, use. Hey. <laughs> Fucking pigeons. It's a bit <laughs> slow. <laughs> they train him at nest, and then they send him here. Away as the night. How long until that thing comes back with a message? A few days. Oh, great. Uh, we don't have time for this. A month. See? Yeah. Well, then this will take you the rest of the way, right? For the last part of the trip, yes. Because that ain't gonna work at all. No. If you don't have a radio, how are you gonna help me? There are people trading all kinds of things here. I can take you to them. Qui toi? Stéphane Codron. Stéphane. Il y a quelques années, il y a un voyageur qui est venu. Il nous a parlé du mouvement. À Paris. 
que ça pouvait redresser le pays. Je devrais te remercier. Vous me remercierez plus tard, quand j'aurai obtenu ce que vous recherchez. On m'a dit ça, en effet, oui. L'Américain Oh, non. Il n'est pas. Why do you have such interest? I mean, we know why he does. It's just pure revenge, but... But how is he a threat to, to her? I, I, I don't know. I mean, we know they were going in a different direction in France. He's timing it. Mm. Continue. I mean, which show? Which one was it? It was the World Beyond, wasn't it? It showed that little clip at the end of the very last episode, I believe, um, after credits. His name was Quinn. I was young and very stupid. Yes, we saw that. He upgraded. Is that your sister? Yeah, it's Lily. That's his mama. Birthday. Lived dinner at the Jules restaurant. No one's never seen her face. <laughs> Why is it we've come for then? We're here so I can keep my part of the bargain. Find something to trade against information on a boat. Damn. Still there. Uh, no, we know that. Yeah, I can mm. see that. Mm. Sure beats the view for my old house. Mm. He seemed like someone who's always thinking. When things happen, things are changing, you know. Maybe we're the same that way, broken until the world ended. <laughs> well, I'm glad our paths crossed. We should get going. Let me try. Now what? Oh, shit. I got it. No, please. You know her. It's him here. It's that little girl we saw. Yeah. When she said, go home to your parents. It's weird, isn't it? Because until someone either puts them down or they literally fall apart from the decay and the necrotized body, time has no meaning to them. Yeah, this is fracking dangerous. Okay, whatever you're going to do, do, you need to do it quick. <laughs> yeah. She's been gone a long time. Sorry about that little girl. I left her. And she stayed a little girl. That's what I mean about that they're frozen in time. She was that age, the last time you saw her. No, you don't... Never really thought about it before with this show, but that, that just kind of highlights it. That's your mum. Never seen her face. I mean, why would he? You see, Daryl? It's my mother. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. If there is a deal to be made, this is the place. Who? They could have even had their heads up about Daryl here. I don't know. Vos armes dans le congèle. The hell? Where are we? It's like catacombs. The catacombs, ah. brother. Thank you. The remains of the six million who died in La Peste Noire. The Black Death. Yeah. America is an infant. In comparison, yes, it is. And half naked chicks, of course. The flame of la vie de Bohème still burns in the demi monde. You helped us. We'll help you. We help you. Okay. C'est quoi cet endroit? Ça s'appelle une boîte de nuit. On avait beaucoup avant. It doesn't even have one of those is. The water lilies. I used to go every week to the Musée d'Orsay when I was sad or lonely. I don't know any of this stuff. It was like a port in the storm. They saved it. That's something. Hmm. Yeah. You want to go to America? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Je sais pas, faut voir. Entrez-nous un peu ce que vous avez dans le sac. 
What did he say? Let's know what we've got. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. He's so hard that he's going to wait for her to translate all of this. Says he knows people who can help you. All right. D'abord, faut payer. Et après, je vous mettrai en contact avec mon plan. I don't like this. Let's go. I don't like this. Hey, hey, hey. Dis à ton gars de se calmer s'il veut pas rentrer à la neige. Ça va, toi. Oh, it starts to go wrong. Come on. Let's go. problem here? Shut the front door. Sorry, Mr. Queen. You know the rules, Bernard. He survived. A mistake. Wow. Oh, that what are the odds? Long time no see. <laughs> Hi, Izzy. Yeah. The part and best of terms. In a minute. Yeah, hasn't it? But as we've said before, with 99% of the population gone, it's surprising how many of the real strange alive the people you, you run years. into. Is this your friend? We travelled together. Way back to America. Long way. It's not impossible. I've, you know, I've heard things. You sing very well. Oh. Thank you. Are those your parents? No. Why? You're just very pretty. I like your necklace. Yeah. She's gonna give it him? You're gonna have it. I'll ask around and I'll see what I can find out. For a friend. The lady gave me her necklace. What lady? The singer. Is it yours? It's Laura. It's Lily's boy. You got your mother's eyes. Who you would no. have seen dead if you'd have got the way you wanted. Because you'd have tried to run away there. We've made a deal. Done your part, I'll do mine. Sure. Turns out you were right. I have connections in Paris. Mm. Yeah, can we get on with it instead of watching you sit there drinking champagne? So how have you been, Izzy? I became a nun. How about you? I became a nun. <laughs> she fucking said it as well. <laughs> Serious. Yeah, from what she was to that is like and Lily. total ends of the fucking stick. She had none too. No, Lily died. Having the baby. This guy's gonna turn. Me. He's gonna turn on us. I don't mean Walker, I mean he's just gonna That my sister died. I had a son. What are you talking about? What? I don't care the circumstance. A boy should know his dad. Uh. I should know his dad. No. It was a mistake. You killed her. And I saved you. That was me. I don't want to talk about this. I am here. Oh, oh hell. That's changed. Help him. Things? Well, now you know the terms. No. Fuck him. It's yeah, okay. fuck him. <laughs> I don't need a boat to spare. Is he even accurate with that? Is is that him playing? Or is that really true? Uh, I was wrong earlier. We're not the same, you and I. You can be pissing me all you want. I'm not the one you're really mad at, though. Well, you wanted to come to Paris, didn't you? I asked for your help because I needed it. Well, that's all you cared about, too. I never did. Okay, so please. Madame Genet and I have an arrangement. My place is off limits. We won't be long. I'm looking for an American. I understand he has been here. His name is Daryl Dixon. Shit. I don't believe in coincidences. I think there was a reason I had to come to Paris. To see him again, to find out the truth. Mm. You don't need me here anymore. You got all these people looking after you. You're gonna be fine. He'll be sad to see you go. Ooh. I never told him about his birth because everything about it was horrible. Mm. The way she died, the way he was born. What are you going to tell him about Quinn? He deserves to know who he is. Right? He's a gift from God. What right? do you mean? Give us some context. Maybe it's something you need to believe because the world's so fucked up. Maybe that's your miracle. Maybe it is. Shit. He was listening to all of that. Bugger. Maybe that was her miracle. Especially seen as the first people she came across that helped her were a bunch of religious nuns. It's all just scaffolding this as well. It's gonna be a long way down. Shit. You have to make a run for this. I mean, 
He's on his own, the devil. He's got no backup. Come on, choke him, choke him. Oh, fuck. Uh, that doesn't sound good. That's going. Crap. Really? Right there? You're going to end it right there? <sighs> they like to leave us on cliffhangers with this one, don't they? Um. So... Everything that we learned about her and her past in the last episode and her former boyfriend who apparently was porking her sister and Laurent is his son and I believe Daryl is quite possibly accurate with what he said here that you said you'd, I'm not going to explain to you or tell you how horrible it was. Everything about it was horrible about his birth. But maybe it, that was why you see him as some sort of miracle child, some sort of something sent by God because you went straight from that life and that and then having to run away from your boyfriend to arriving at a nunnery with a newborn baby and we can imagine, you know, what's taken place from there as him growing up as a child and the miracle has been indoctrinated into you by the people with which you were staying with and were brought, brought him up with. So, the only thing is he does seem to have a weird sort of empathy about him that seems to be able to get through to people very quickly he's well read and he's well spoken but that's just because he's obviously taught well with where he was what i'm not understanding here is we know all devil's trying to do now is they're going to take him on to, to the this safe place the nest that devil wants him to get back i have an awful feeling that it's going to have to be on the same boat that he got thrown off and this madam whose name I don't know. Uh, it's difficult because it's all French. Um, what interest does she have? And what it is that, what is it they're continuing to do here with their experimentation? We saw a little bit of it there, but we didn't get in real context with it as to what precisely they were doing, what they were timing, what they've, they've tried to do different. Um, we know it, it was, it was, it went in a different direction here. In Europe, in France in particular, we know with these that are the last people that the CDC ever heard of back over in America with um, Brenner? Is it Brenner? I can't remember his name now. Um, so I don't know. But this dude is now her... I don't know. What do you want to call him? <laughs> the fact that you killed his brother and has broken his promise... She's now using him to find you. And he wants to do the same anyway. Where we're going to go from this, I don't know. It, it feels like they're already trying to split um, the story in half here now, where it's going to be more of Daryl trying to get back home rather than moving on with the boy. But then again, it seems to have been put in as an integral part of the show. So something's going to intervene at some point for it to continue that way I, I have no idea maybe i'm talking complete crap <laughs> i don't know the visuals in this show are stunning really stunning i was wondering how they were going to show it on screen and perceive it completely differently with it being unlike america where you can just show a small town and roads in and outside the town you know we're now we're looking at a full city again um it's been done very well and 
I'm as out of my comfort zone as Daryl is here with anything they stop menacing French. I have no what they're talking about. And I don't just mean the language, I mean, I mean like the, the painting and everything. The only thing I knew about, obviously, was the cartoons. You know, if you don't know what the cartoons are, you need to brush up on your history a bit. Right, uh, we'll be back for episode four next week. Till then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Do not forget to post your comments down below and give the video a thumbs up if you are watching on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. And a quick plug, if you do want to watch them all in full length, you know the score by now. Just share the link in the description and you can go watch them all over on Patreon. Right, see you for episode four next week. Take care.